Okay, now look at question number 1A. How to solve this equation using substitution method? Um, this is perfect for substitution method because the algebra y is a subject for one of the equation. So then what you have to do? Okay, so what you have to do is that you have to substitute this, the other part here, into where y is. Uh, this is, let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. We sub 1 into 2. Okay, so we have here x plus 2. How do we know we replace here? Because the subject is y. Okay, okay. so we have here 3x plus 1 equals 16. So then we multiply. So we say x, so 2 times 3x and 2 times 1. So 2 times 3x will be 6x. Then 2 times 1 will be 2, so equals to 60. Okay, originally we have one algebra, another algebra, two algebra, one and two algebra in one equation. Now, when you substitute, now we have only x. Okay, so... Now we have um, an equation, a linear equation in one algebra. So what we do next, we move all the, make sure all the x in one side and all the number to the other side. So in this case, we can add x plus 6x will be 7x. Then move the 2 to the other side, we have 16 minus 2. So we have 7x is equals to 14. So if 7x equals to 14, so the value of x will be 14 over 7. Okay, we move that 7 and then the value of x will be 2. So we have got the value of x. But, but we need to know the value of y also. So what we do? There is an equation that we make y as a subject. Take it back. And just substitute x as 2. So, 3 because we know already the value of x. So, 3 times 2 plus 7. 3 times 2 will be 6. 6 plus 1 will be 7. So, we say therefore x equals 2. And y equals to 7. Okay, let's us repeat the same question but with another method. Elimination method. Okay, so what we have to do for elimination method? We have, first we have to make sure that we have the same order. Same order in the sense that, let's say here is x and then y and then equals to number, this thing has to be in the same exact order. Is it okay to follow this order? Yes. Y and then X and then number. No problem. Whichever that you like. Okay? So, but uh, mostly we are going to do like this pattern. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to rearrange this into that pattern. So, and, and we are going to write down below of this. Okay? So we say, uh, so you have to move that 3x to the other side, it becomes negative 3x. Okay, so if you see the pattern here is x and then y, and then equals to number. Do the same thing for this, this, this one. So plus y equals to 1. Okay, you move that negative uh, 3x to the side, become negative 3. You do not move the y because you are moving mean cross the equal. So, the y is still y. Okay? Alright. So, now, in this case, uh, that is first. Okay? Order. Okay? We have done the order. But, the, set, the, the first thing is order. Second, two is that coefficient. Co 
Efficient, efficient, co co efficient, co efficient. We have to make one of the co efficient of the algebra as equal. Uh, means that in this case, uh, x with x must have the same co efficient. Now here is one x. Here negative three x, two y, one y. None of them are equal. Okay, so. Uh, in order to make the coefficient equal, so I am going to, okay, I am going to just rewrite as notes, eh? Okay, uh, what I mean by that step. So, I'm going to multiply this with 2. So, when I multiply the whole equation with 2, uh, I'm going to rewrite, eh? x plus 2y equal to 16. I did not I did not multiply anything here but I multiply this with 2. So I have 2 times negative 3 will be negative 6x 2 times y we have 2y then 2 times 1 equals to 2. Now can you see that we have the coefficient uh, equal Okay, so since the coefficients are equal, okay, so why is it called elimination? Because the the co the, the, the algebra with same coefficient, we are going to eliminate them. How to eliminate? Because 2y and 2y, we minus. What is 2y minus 2y? Zero. Eliminated. Okay, so... But other parts also, other coefficient or here, you must have minus also. In this case, x, 1x minus negative 6. So, you press calculator, 1 minus then negative 6. They give you 7. So, 7x. This one, no more. And then 16 minus 2 will be 14. So, you almost got it. That is, you almost got the value of x. So, this is, we eliminate the y. What we have left is x. So, we could solve. We say 7x equal to 14. So, x will be 14 over 7, which is equals to 2. So, that is one of the value. And then, in order to find... Um, the other, the other uh, algebra, in this case is y, you should substitute x equal to 2 into either this equation or this equation or this equation or this equation. Whichever is your pick. Okay? So, for example, I take the, the, the on the top one, x plus 2y equals to 16. So, I'm going to replace x as 2. So, replace x as 2. So, we say 2 plus 2y equals to 16. Okay? So, then, since this is linear equation in one algebra, we have to separate between algebra and number. The number you bring to the other side. So, we have 2y equals to 16 minus 2. So, the value of 2y will be 14. So, y will be 14 over 2, which is 7. So, we have the, the value x equals to 2, y equals to 7. Alright. Okay. Now, look at question 1b. If you look at here, I did not write one at the top and below at oh, another one at the bottom. No, I write down side by side. Why? Because in order to use what we call as substitution method, okay, we have two methods basically. That is one is substitution method, another is elimination method. So in some question, there are uh, one. Uh, way is better than the other. 
but I'm going to show you the substitution method first. So there is no, unlike question A, uh, x plus y equals to 5, there is no subject. Subject means uh, y equals something or x equals to something. Okay, so uh, we call this equation 1 and equation 2. We decide or we can choose whichever question to make one of the algebra a subject. For example, if I want to make x as a subject here, so I will say x equals to 5 minus 1. Okay, you have to, to pick one of the equation and pick one of the algebra as a subject. Subject means that x equals something like this. Get okay? x only here. Okay, the other side is 1. So then, you have to replace or substitute this into another equation where x is. Because the subject is x, so you replace where x is. If you check question number 1a, because the subject is y, you have to substitute in the, an, another equation where y is. So now, the x is a subject. So at the value of x is 5 minus y. So we have to replace this in, in the other equation where x is. So we write down 2 and the place of x, you replace with this. 5 minus y, then minus y equals 22. Okay, so replace x here and then the other thing is just copy. Copy this, copy this. Okay, now if you see, we do not have x and y just like equation 1 and equation 2 but now we have only y okay so then we expand the bracket then uh, 10 2 times 5 then 2 times negative y will be negative 2y minus y equals 22 then uh, Make sure you bring all the numbers to the other side. Algebra on one side. Okay? And then in this case, you could calculate this. Negative 2y, negative y means negative 2y minus 1y. So if you press calculator, minus 2, minus 1, or negative 2, negative 1, it will give you negative 3. So it means negative 3y is equals to 22 minus 10. 10 is positive. You bring to the side become negative 10. So we should calculate. This one still remains. This one should be 12. So the value of y will be 12 over negative 3 which is negative 4. One of the value of the algebra we got it early. So after that Take the equation that we have make one of the algebra a subject. In this case, x is x is 5 minus y. And replace y as negative 4. So x is 5 minus y is negative 4. And we have 5 minus minus 4 will become plus 4. The same with 9. Or if you press calculator, 5 minus minus 4, the calculator will give you x equals to 9. So we say, therefore, x equals to 9 and y equals to negative 4. Okay, any question about this? Alright, you should try a Okay, now. Let us look at question number 1b. x plus y equals 5 to x minus y equals 22. Look at the coefficient of x, 1. Coefficient of y, 1. Coefficient of x, 2. Coefficient of y, negative 1. Okay. So even though it looks like none of them are equal, but we could consider y as having the same number. Even though this is negative 1 and this is 1. So what we can do immediately, 
we just write down this underneath this to x and then minus y equals 22 but so we can eliminate we could eliminate y by saying we add uh, we add in order to eliminate if the one of the symbol here is positive and another is negative one and negative one you if you add plus you get zero one plus negative one you get zero uh, so in this case, y is eliminated plus here. So you could see now that sum of the equation is better to use elimination than substitution. Okay? So you add here, you get 3x. You add here, you get 0y. 0y, don't write. And then 5 plus 22 will be 27. So x will be 27 over 3 which is 9 okay so um, if I were to write this is 1 and this is 2 okay uh, why we have to write this you don't have to but it's better to write down because we want to, to tell you how I what, which equation that I take okay so now I'm replacing x into 2 okay um, Replace or substitute 9 here at the 2. So I have to say 2 times 9 minus y equals to 22. So we have 18 minus y equals to 22. So in this case, because y is single and negative, I bring it to the other side, become y here is positive. So 18 minus 20. Two, so value of y will be negative 4. And see, we say x equals 9, y is negative 4. So for your info, this equation, so question 1b, is better off using elimination method. Much easier than substitution. So for question c, there are some way that uh, that if you pick something, it's better than the other. What I mean by that is that if you see coefficient of x is 4, coefficient of y is 3, coefficient of x here is 1. <coughs> so, this equation of y is negative 3. So, it's better or it's preferable if you make this x as a subject from this one not from this one not this one because if you make this or this as a, a subject then it become a fraction form so it's easier make x this x as a subject so x equals to 2 plus 3y okay so then you replace this value uh, where x is into the other okay so just uh, when you are doing it uh, make sure that you arrange it not in like my arrangement eh? okay maybe your teacher will complain to you okay so we have 4x x we play with 2 plus 3y plus 3y oops so outside the bracket so because this is 4x this is x equals to 8 then we expand the bracket we have 8 plus 12y plus 3y equals to 8. You have to move uh, the value of numbers only to the other side. Here we add, we have 15y is equals to 8 minus 8. So value of 15y is equal to 0. So if... 15y equal to 0, y is 0 over 15, still 0. Okay? So, at y is 0, and x is 2 plus 3 times 0. Replace y as 0 in the equation, this equation. So, you have 2 plus 0, which is 2. Therefore, x is 2, y is 0. For this question, I don't have... Alternative method. 
means that I don't have uh, I am not going to do uh, white as a subject or whatsoever okay because this is the best make X as a subject okay so for C I'll move this underneath here X minus 3y equals to 2 and then in order to eliminate the y we have to plus x so 3y plus negative 3y you get 0y so 4x uh, plus 1x will be 5x so 8 plus 2 will be 10 so the value of x will be 10 over 5 which is 2 and then in order to know the other value I will replace x as 2 here so we say 2 minus 3 times oh we do not know why yet equals to 2 so we move I'll move that negative 3y to the other side so we have 3y so I move 2 here 2 minus 2 so the value of 3y will be 0 so y will be 0 over 3 so the value of y will be 0 therefore x is 2 y is 0 okay that is uh, the correct one okay question d we have 8x plus 3y equals negative 4 5x plus 2y equals 6. Finally, we are going to have okay, a fraction from. Okay. For example, if I make x as a subject, I will say 8x equals negative 4, negative 3y. I bring the whole of 3y to this side. So, make x a subject. So it becomes negative 4, negative 3y over 8. Okay, we cannot, there is no uh, uh, algebra with coefficient of 1. So 8, 3, 5, and 2. So it becomes a fraction 4. So we replace this into the other equation where x is. So it becomes 5 bracket. negative 4, negative 3y over 8 then plus 2y equals 6 ok, now since we have fraction fraction are complicated ok so we, we do not want the fraction how? You multiply every term with 8. You multiply with 8 here. So this is one term. You multiply with 8. Here is another term, 2y, because it's spread, se uh, separated by plus. So you multiply also by 8. And 6 is another term. You multiply also with 8. Okay? Why we multiply by 8? So I can cut here. See, there's no more fraction. Okay? Uh, so, but if, if you multiply here with 8, you have to multiply break every item with 8. So, 5 and this is together. is considered as one term because they are multiplied, not plus. Okay? So, now we multiply inside. Expand the bracket. 5 times negative 4. It will be negative 20. 5 times negative 3y will be negative 15y. And then here, you have to multiply 2y times 8 will be 16y. And then 6 times 8 will be 48. And this negative 15y plus 16y, you could calculate that. It will become 1y. 1y we don't usually write one y. So you move that negative 20 to the other side, you become 48 plus 20. So one y is actually y. The value will be 68. Okay.
that is the value of y. So, in order to know the value of x, we have to replace it here. Okay? So, if you have to, you should write it down. Eh? Because I don't have space anymore. I, I write down be below here. Negative 4, negative 3, and rewrite where y is as uh, 68. So, over 8. Okay, so this one, because uh, of the space constraint, I'm going to use calculator. Okay, so you just press calculator. Negative 4, negative 3, uh, and bracket 68 or times 68. Then you press equal. Then you get negative 208. From here, you divide by 8. Then you get negative 26. So that is the value of x. So therefore, we say x is negative 26, y is 68. Okay, for d, coefficient of x is 8, here is 5, coefficient of y is 3, and here is 2. None of them are similar. So, what we have to do in order to use elimination? We have to multiply both of the equation. For example, if I want to eliminate y, I multiply the first equation with 2. I multiply the second equation with 3. Okay, do you see that the y, the reason? It's because 2 times 3 will be 6. 3 times 2 will be 6. So we need to have y, coefficient of y, to have similar coefficient, and then we could eliminate the y. If you want to eliminate the x, you multiply the first equation with 8, and uh, this one is with 8, and this one with 5. Okay, let's see. Okay, you multiply this with 2, everything. 8 multiplied by 2, you get 16x. 3y times 2, will be 6y, negative 4 times 2 will be negative 8, and uh, underneath of this equation, you, multi you multiply this and then write down here. So 3 times 5 will be 15, and then 3 times 2 will be 6, and then 3 times 8 will be, 3 times 6 will be 18. Okay, so we see that we have both of them 6y, so, and both are positive, so just minus. So, 6y minus 6y, eliminated. And then, if this is minus, you have minus here, you have to minus here. 16 minus 50 will be 1. So, you don't write 1x, but you write down, okay? So, negative 8, negative 16 will be negative 26. So, that is the value of x, because this is only 1x. Now, in order to know y, you could replace this x as negative 26 into this equation, or this equation, or this equation, or this equation. So, I pick this one. Why? No reason. Okay, I just pick any one of, any one of them. Okay, so we replace 8x. x, you replace with negative 26 plus 3y equals negative 4. So, this 26 times 8 will be 208, 208 negative, plus 3y equals to negative 4, and then you have to bring this to the other side, so we have to say 3y is negative 4 plus 208, it will be 204. So, y will be 204 divided by 3. 204 divided by 3 will be 68. So, y will be 68. So, we write down x, therefore, x is equals to negative 26. y is 68.